Hey there. Due to popular demand, we are creating this mini-series of videos about the Core Flow Designer. The Core Flow Designer, or CFD as we like to call it, is a very versatile tool that can be used to create complex and detailed core flows. In this first video, I will show you how to make your first core flow and deploy it to the PBX. We will keep it simple by having two core flow options as well as an invalid input option. So we will create one option to transfer the call to the technical support queue and another option to transfer the call to the sales queue. When we enter an invalid option, it will read out a prompt that the input is invalid and give us two retries. So let's get started. When you enter the 36 call flow designer, you will be presented with a blank gray screen. Before we start the programming of our first call flow, let me explain a few of our terminologies. A project is your actual application composed of call flows, dialers, and components. A call flow is the interaction with a caller, that is, a group of actions formed by a group of components. For example, asking for a user's customer number. Components are the basic building blocks of a call flow or dialer, such as play a menu, get user input, accessing a database, and so on. Components are always a part of a call flow, a dialer, or a more complex component. A dialer is a flow to launch outbound calls automatically. Okay, so with the formalities out of the way, let's get our hands dirty with the CFD. But before we actually start working on our call flow, you will need to have a rough outline of what you want to do within this call flow and create voice prompts, which will be used by the call flow designer. I've already pre-recorded some sample audio prompts and have them ready to be used within the CFD in order to save some time. On the top left, go to New, and select New Project. Give the project a name. Let's call this one CFD Test. And click on Save. When the project is created, we can see the main call flow. We will add different components and dialers in order to create the call flow. Let's begin with our first menu. Drag and drop the menu object from the call control section. And drag it between the green arrow and the red O. Now let's start working on this. First things first, I'm going to name this the main menu. You can't have spaces in the name. To configure the menu option, either double click on the menu or right click and select configure. Allow DTMF input to allow the callers to select the options. Select your timeout to wait for a response from the caller as well as the maximum retries. We will now use our pre-recorded prompts to populate the prompt list on the right hand side. I will go and add my CFD intro wave as the initial prompt. Click on add, click on browse, and using CFD intro, click on OK. Next I will define my CFD timeout wave file as the timeout prompt. Click on add. Browse, timeout, and click on OK. And finally, I will define my CFD invalid input wave as my invalid digit prompt. And click on OK. Now let's go and activate the option components. Let's start with the audio prompts. I've pre-recorded a few prompts, namely the prompts for transferring to support, transferring to sales, and transferring to the operator. From the call control section, I will drag and drop the prompt playback component into the call flow. I will put this under option one, which will be activated when someone dials the number one. This will inform them that the call will be transferred to support. Again, 
From the call control section, I will drag and drop the prompt playback component again to option number two, which will be used to inform them that the call will be transferred to sales. Doing this a third time for the timeout or invalid option will allow me to play back a message after the number of retries has been reached when a caller enters invalid input. This was configured in the main menu options. Now double clicking on the prompt playback components one by one, we will assign the relevant audio prompt to these components. Click on add, enable, browse, select the prompt that we want to use, click on OK, and click on OK again. And I will name this transfer support. For the second option as well, edit the prompt, click on add, enable it, browse to the relevant prompt, click on OK, click on OK again, and let's rename this transfer sales. For the third one, I will select to add the prompt which transfers to the operator and I will rename this transfer operator. Now we need to tell the CFD where to send these calls when the relevant options are pressed. So we drag and drop the transfer component to the first and second option underneath the prompt playback, thus creating two individual call flows. Double clicking on the first transfer option, we will choose to transfer it to the queue that we have defined for technical support. We will repeat this for the second option, which transfers to the sales queue. In the timeout or invalid option section, we will send the call to the operator as the person calling has not been able to select the correct option for the configured retry counts. I will also rename the transfer options to reflect where we will transfer to. Just as an FYI, you cannot have the same name as the prompt, so I have named it transfer to support. Name this one as well. And this one as well. So now we have finished the configuration of the call flow. We need to build the project now and have it ready to be deployed in the PBX. Go to the build menu and select build all. We can see that the build has been done successfully. We don't have any errors in the output and we can click here to see it. We can see that a zip file has been created, which is now ready to upload into the PBX and be ready for use. To add this to the PBX, all we need to do is go to the advanced menu under call flow apps and click on add update. We select our zip file that we have created, click on open, and that will bring it into the list where we can see that it is now active, it is valid, and we can go and configure our inbound rule now. Our DID will go to our call flow app for in and out of office hours, click on okay and that is now ready for use. Let's go test it. So let's go and test our call flow now. I will dial my DID. Welcome to our company. Press one for technical support. Press two for sales. Let's press one. 
your call will now be transferred to technical support. Okay, and we can see now that it will be transferred to technical support. And the call gets answered. Let's make another call into our DID now. Welcome to our company. Press 1 for technical support. Press 2 for sales. Let's press 2. Your call will now be transferred to sales. And we can see that the call gets transferred to sales. I'm going to make one more call in and I'm going to enter in valid options. Welcome to our company. Press 1 for technical support. Press 2 for sales. I'm putting an invalid option. You have entered an invalid option. Pressing it again. This is the first retry. You have entered an invalid option. Once more. You have entered an invalid option. Your call will now be transferred to the operator. And we follow the routing for the invalid option. And it goes to the operator extension. Well, that's it for the first part of the CFD. We will be back for the second part of the training where we will use this call flow and build up on it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. See you at the next one.